Hi guys, today we're back at the uh, Mysterious Terry shop and I'm going to build a new gas forge. Wasn't happy with my old forge, uh, the Mysterious Terry's forge doesn't get quite hot enough for what I want to do, so I'm going to build a new one. I've got some 3 16 plate all ready to go, and I've got some gas parts, some burners. These are ones that Mysterious Terry and I have made, so uh, you'll be able to see us assemble those, as well as a uh, hose and regulator I got on eBay. We're going to slap this thing together and see how it works. Let's have some fun. So the forge is all tacked together now. Uh, I'm going to take the bits and pieces out of it that we used to make sure the shape was right. And I'm going to weld the seams up and then we'll move on to the front and back. Okay, so here's something that nobody ever seems to talk about, and I wish they would because it makes, you know, building burners a lot easier, and that's gas parts. Now, I know there's a liability thing, so uh, my little disclaimer is, if you want to do this, talk to a plumber or a gas fitter or somebody who knows what they're doing. If you don't, it's your own butt on the line. Anyhow, so what we've got for parts... The kind of crucial one is this, whoo, focus, here. All this is, is an end cap plug that is drilled with a number 60 drill bit. Now you hear some guys say number 57, um, it's always easier to bore a hole larger, it's uh, hell to try and make it smaller, so uh, I go with 60 and if you find you don't have enough gas flow you can always make it bigger. That just goes straight to a coupler, on mine that goes to an elbow. That elbow connects to my two burner rig with a shut off in between. And this connects at the back with a transition fitting to connect to a gas line. These gas lines can be bought on eBay and Amazon. Uh, they are not expensive. They come with a 30 PSI regulator and they fit onto a standard 20 pound propane tank. The other bit you will need, oop, there we go, is a burner. Now, all this is, is a piece of schedule pipe with some half inch holes drilled in it. This bit is another piece of schedule pipe with a thumb screw. It acts as the choke so you can cover up some of the air holes, although I've never really found it very necessary. In the top of the pipe, uh, there we are. In the top of the pipe, there are three set screws. Oh, I've only got two set screws. Anyways, there are set screws that allow you to pinch the sides of your burner orifice to hold it in place. Down at the bottom, you've got a piece of stainless steel pipe. You can get this uh, fairly readily. Um, it just slips over the outside and acts as a flare. Some people actually flare these things out. I've never found it makes much of a difference, so I just use them straight. And again, it's attached with a set screw. So I will show you what this looks like all together when I've got it built. But that's sort of the nuts and bolts of this. All of this can be bought at your local big box hardware store, uh, even up here in Canada where the selection is much, much worse and uh, it's really not that complicated um, but like I said if you don't know what you're doing if you've never done anything like this before find somebody who has and get some advice or these burners are available to purchase uh, in several places 
So uh, if you do not want to make one, they are gettable and they are not terribly expensive. So yeah, um, I'm going to get back to putting my forge back together and uh, hopefully soon we'll have something to show you. Here we are, end of forge build, day one. Um, we've gotten through almost everything that I hope we would get through today. Um, the body is welded up. The burners are mostly fabricated, just need to be assembled. Uh, the only thing I gotta do is weld the uh, burner kind of holders. I don't even know what you call these. Burner flanges onto the top and uh, finish the lining up before I weld the back on like to say uh, thanks to the mysterious Terry. Have fun at the beach, buddy. And uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, like, leave a comment, and I'll have another video out soon.